Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to Gold. Now we're looking at something very tragic, my hunter, um, Tegan. Yeah, well, I guess she wasn't killed by the carcass, the, the stack that is lying beside her, but rather by some wild animals. And yeah, Ov is on his way trying to rescue her right now. The problem with Ov is that he's also really, really badly uh, wounded, at least mentally. He's almost uh, close to a breakdown here. Um, Ov, though, uh, gets it in time to take him and hopefully hopefully yeah very good tries to heal her so that both of them get up to their feet again back to their feet there they are um and let's try to get them back home to my gold immediately because both of them need urgent treatment oh does need to get a drink and Tegan, yeah, she has suffered a physical affliction now. That is Langur. Um, let's have a look at that. How can you work or move and li literally everything hurts? Your muscles, joints, lungs, eyes and brain all inflamed. Um, and yeah, she needs to get back home there quickly. I think she's also close yep, to a mental breakdown. She is also very badly wounded. I think the breakdown is more important though because... Oh, wait a second, she actually gets up there again. Access to torchlight, to enough food... Why is she going up there right now? She gets negative 3 from the health. So theoretically she should have a loss here. But it's going up. That's fine. Then go to the bathroom please. Because there you can heal up uh, with your health a bit. Also we got a uh, Savalt here. Lots of my people are actually very low on sanity right now. And we need to, we need to quickly do something about that. Um, upgrading this one would give me more regeneration. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness, and <laughs> we are also under attack now. What is this? The Red Horde is attacking us. And they're most likely going to breach. Because I don't, I don't really have any defenses out there. Interesting stuff. Alright, Oath is replenishing his sanity. Tegan is still not there. Still on the way to the bathhouse. And we've been breached once more. Oh, this is getting harder. There it is, there's the breach. How many people do we have here? Fail in, you can also help out then. Trick is helping out. And as we can see, there's the attack coming. Oath is also standing up. He's still got a bit of sanity left. So hopefully he's going to help us out there a bit. Oh boy. And Tegan just recovered and is back into the fighting. One down. Second one down. We're not losing that much health, so they're not doing so much damage to my people, but still. Tegan, please go to the bathroom or something like that. Alright. I think that's it. We need to quickly repair, because without that, we cannot use the service buildings again. And Saval is also using his, losing his mind there, so he will also need to go drinking some meat there soon. Some of you have been suggesting, yes, this probably could work. Um, it's very close though, right, that the shrine could overlap with the metery and they could get faith and sanity at the same time. The thing is, faith is not really my problem right now. It's all about sanity. Um, so, Oath, go back to drink, please. Why are they not repairing this? Please do it. It actually looks rather well, so that should be no problem. Super important that we do this. Thank you very much. Now he can drink again. And she goes also drinking a bit. Alright, Trick, you can go back as a forager. Because we need... F oh no, it's winter, right? So you actually need to go to hunt. That's more important right now. Yeah, a lot of them are now standing around. This is something that's a bit strange, right? So once we have finished the task, they should automatically return to their work. They're not doing this. So unfortunately, every time someone attacks, I need to manually get them back to where they were before, which is a bit tiresome, honestly. So it's a lot of micromanaging here. She was a lumberjack, right? And then they continue onwards with that. Alright, we have enough reed, enough wood there for the moment. There's a hunter. Why is the hunter not working? Oh, this is the archery range, I'm sorry. This is the hunter. Failing, she was a lumberjack, even though we don't really need this for now. Right, still, let's go ahead. And we also have this hunter here once more. Hopefully works that. Alright, they're healing up now. Perfect. Savalt, he was... Oh, he's really bad. 
Zawal, where are you? He's coming back right now. Let's also have a look there. Oaf. Oaf is looking much better now. Tegan is looking much better. So once Savald is back in town, he will get the meat. He's also recovering now again. So once they're within my gorge, they're actually automatically recovering once more. Mm, outside, it's it's getting a bit dangerous. What we could do to prolong the amount of sanity they get is having a torchlight somewhere over there, right? Because this is where it's getting really dark. And if we build that here, and people always go towards that area because there we have just ponds, then they get sanity a bit longer recovering that. All right, Tegendo is looking very good again. I think she's also healing up by drinking beer. beer? I, I don't care. Let's get her to the bathhouse so that Savald can actually do some drinking there because he really needs it. Perfect. All right, so we are in the winter. It's February. We're still alive somehow. Uh, Trick, what are you doing here? What do you have? You have fighting experience. Nothing really that we would need right now. Uh, well, I do have my clay. Yep, we do have the clay miner working, of course. That's great. Um, there's still something that we need to repair. All right, and since actually most of my goods are fine, we could work on something that is not fine right now. That's gold and iron. Gold is especially need uh, well needed because we need to pay our soldiers with that. Problem right now is that there is no gold mine. So I haven't found a single gold deposit on the map. We have some iron deposit here. There's some loose stones. And all the way down, I think here, there was a gold mine. No, there's iron again. Yeah, there's, there's no gold here as far as I can see. I also cannot find it. We could enlarge the map, right? And then have a look at the, at the deposits that we can find here. There's a look at tower. There's a totem. A pile of gold would be over there. But it's just a pile of gold. It does not give me... A, an income really of gold so in that case a gold miner would be my next choice however um, problem there is that we don't have gold deposit so the other thing that i could do is a trading post a trading post allows merchants to trade goods for gold and other resources and this is my first building of that type let's have it yeah over here probably because in that case it's close to the gate where the the traders are also coming out or oh, we have it in here I mean, it's a very important building, right? Go ahead and have it up there. A trading post. There is also the temple that I was actually um, eyeing already for a while now. Where is it? There it is. But we need more reed for that. All right. No problem. We haven't lost someone yet, so <laughs> that's great. I don't need a burial ground. Oh, my goodness. Get out of there. What is this? Uh, and she definitely will need to drink something. She has very low sanity at this point. Oaf must be full. Yes, he is. So he can make way. And Savald, you also go for some healing. And there she's coming in again. And please go and drink something, recovering your sanity. Do we have any defensive buildings that I could use? We have the Scorpion. That would be a, a defensive ballista. But that's it, right? Hmm, the Rattlesnake. We have this actually attracts enemies. And I think we do need to... Oh, at the gate. I think we can only build this at the gate. We can't. Hmm. Our source of food has been depleted. All right. It's getting harder for them to find game. Ah, uh, it's the sanity. It's the sanity. Another kid. Yes, we are still growing. It's a boy. Kinrick, he's called. Thank you very much. We are at 11 now. Kinrick, what do you have here as a speciality? Oh, he's not really good. <laughs> he's got, he's very bad at exploring, very bad at fighting, bad at cutting. He's not really good at anything except for have a bit of trading, but that's it. Oy, 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 oy. This is not going to go so well. All right. Trading post at least. Um, I think... No. Do I have anyone that would be good with trading? And Leslav, please go for some drinking here. Holy cow. He's looking bad. And I think Alice is also looking bad. Uh, what can I do to automatically do this? That is the big question. Ward sanity in general is increasing though to calm levels right now. So we're not panicking. 
We also got some maximum trained or maximum healed people again. And let's actually upgrade as my first building, upgrade the metery. Someone has harmed our sister. Yeah. We need to we need, I we probably need to stop with the hunting. They're getting too far out there and it's too dangerous right now. That is is on her way home now, perfect. Let's actually build this one here. I think there's no real animal. And food production gained for one month. She's a hunter, so she could get this still. Uh, she's almost full anyway. Oh, she's also a very good fighter, so she would be my archer. There it is, right? A light, and this improves now the sanity there as well. So access to a torchlight gives her a sanity. Her health though is rather low, so this is putting her down again a bit. Um, let's just keep her standing there for, for the moment. And what's up with the metery? Has it been upgraded? I think it has. It has, so we can now have three people in that um, healing at the same time. This is really important. Right, and I think actually sanity-wise we're not looking so bad now. There's still someone, but that's it. And then we, yeah, we need to get them back. Is there no... Hmm. No. There is, I think, no button where we could just get her automatically back to her job. So we always need to really click on that. It's a bit annoying. But okay, Tegan, you're also a hunter, right? Our source of food has been depleted. Yeah. All right, let's have a look at the trading because I do need one trader, right? And we do have a few hunters right now. I don't need all of them. There it is, Savald, you're good with trading. 10% experience gain. So let's make him a trader. That would be a first. He goes in, goes out with another cloak or another and let's have a look here and we can trade something right we have lots of wood let's have a look at the trade i would like to get gold of course as my primary resource oh my goodness that is not looking great uh clay uh, we can trade a bit more clay for a bit of gold we can trade that we could trade yeah wood trade some 100 wood and it's instant what I can see, right? Yes, with that we get a bit of gold in, right? That pays my soldiers. The thing is though, um, if I want to get new soldiers, so let's have a look at someone. We would need to pay them to get this. How much does it cost? It doesn't say that. There's quite the party here. Let's have a look. He's the clay worker. Go back to clay working, please. There's my hunter. Go back to hunting, please. There's my forager. Winter is over, by the way. Hooray! It's spring. We have survived the first winter. It was harsh. <laughs> it was too harsh. Uh, let's actually put Tig in here also as a forager because foraging is a bit less risky than hunting, right? And they have many clusters of mushroom close by. Can I see any... Oh yeah. All right, we really need to get some hunting parties out there, so some some soldiers. This is not acceptable right now. I do have enough clay though. Let's make her a forager as well. This will be a bit easier then. All right, I do have 15 gold. One of them I wanted to actually get becoming a I think it was her, right? She's still a hunter now. Yep. And she's very good with fighting, so I'm going to make her an archer now. Switch the profession to archer, please. Let's just see if we can do this. Yeah, we can do this. Perfect. And there she is, an archer. So now we have Oath and Elasaid. And she is my, my hunter. We can make a party out of them, right? So I'm going to pick Oath and Elasaid. As my first group, right? And we can always collect, uh, select them now. And with them, I can now start clearing some some monsters out there. Both of them are very experienced fighters. Have good equipment, a fully equipped high sanity. This should just work out. <laughs> Let's hope it at least. Very good. The Thatcher is back to max health. And Alice, she's also back there. And she was what? Also a Thatcher. Let's also get her back to work. And it's a hard life. Meanwhile, my group is out there, so let's just continue onwards. We need to slaughter some animals there. There is some something here, some spiders. Alright. 
And Oath yeah. takes the damage, right? And my archer attacks from the back. Ooh, these are very strong spiders. It's a lot of them too. Uh, yeah, this is not looking great. Let's move out. Holy cow, they're strong. Event, colorful, mysterious mushroom. While foraging, Trick uh, came across a very strange mushroom that did not remind him of any known fungus, even though he's an expert in this field. The mushroom is very colorful, large and soft. People say it must be a gift from the gods and we would offend them by not using it. It has a neutral smell, neither uh, pleasant nor repulsive. Trigwer suggests processing the mushroom, re preparing a potion from it and drinking it in order to evaluate if this type of mushroom has any useful properties. Uh, Alright, I mean he's the forager. I don't really want to lose anyone, but let's take the risk there. Have some fun. And oh, it was successful. Made a drink from the mysterious mushroom. The smell remained neutral, but the liquid turned an even brighter color. Surprising the man, he filled the bellows, cooled it, and took a few sips. He quietly sipped for a while, and he felt a chill that quickly passed. Then he felt a strange, overwhelming need to pray, but remarkably he could do so without using a temple. He felt the god's presence right beside him. After praying, he felt enlightened and now gains experience faster. Perfect. Where's Trigwe? Uh, there he is. Out there, collecting the mushrooms. And yes, we do need more food. We are really low. And by the way, we also will need a gate here. This is just crazy that those people actually go all about it. Where is my gate? There it is. Can we not do it here? Come on. We could do it here. Unfortunately, this is not going to work. Uh, let's build the gate down there. We can actually go back off to heal a bit. Yeah, and we do need more gold. If I don't have enough gold, my sanity goes down quite a bit, actually. And we also need more food. Oh, come on. Out there. Some boars fighting, but it's two of my own ones, and the boars are not that strong. Oh, she gains a level. She becomes a fighter there. But yeah, that was okay. Still, the main problem is that we don't have food. There's the food coming in now. There's the new gate. This will speed things up a bit. And what I could also do is I could upgrade my forager hut so the depositing efficiency is increased by 25%. Um, yeah, we will basically get more food in. So let's do this, upgrade the forager hut. And we should probably do the same thing then to the hunter as well. But at the moment, right, it's not winter so we can replenish the games, the game that we have. The blood moon is nigh. Make sure to shelter your subjects. We what? Out of gold. We cannot afford to maintain our military. What is the blood moon? What happens then? Why do we need to shelter my villagers? The blood moon. No full moon is entirely peaceful, but when the moon turns red, the bloodshed in the land grows beyond one's worst imaging. Uh, Kor's powers are at their peak, then feeding off of human fear and sorrow, giving him the ability to spawn monsters. New monstrosities spawn on that night, born of the false god's might. Alright. We are upon the blood moon now. And I think there will be more monsters out there than ever. We need to make sure that we do have my soldiers ready. Alright, this has been upgraded now already. Very good. So we're getting some 25% efficiency out of it. That's all nice and dandy. And we could also upgrade the trading post. We would increase the trade ratio that we get out of it, right? Because right now it's not looking that great. Give you that. Uh, the only thing we can trade right now for a bit of gold is trees all the time. But you cannot do this forever, of course. I just come to realize that there's actually another building for food production, which is the fishing shack. It allows fishermen to process raw fish into food. And of course we're going to do this, and we're going to have it a bit further out here, because there's the ponds and the water right away. So let's go ahead and build this next structure. 
it's pretty cool. And Savalt, you can also help building because as long as we're not trading anything, there is no need for having a trader really. I think that is more important than gold right now, having food. Right. There's also my foragers coming back with a lot of um, uh, food. Perfect. Mushrooms. Primarily. And they're queuing up here to get in and deliver the food. Alright, you can actually go and heal a bit. You're looking very low on health there. And Trick, he's, he's really bad at everything there too, except for fighting perhaps. He's probably in the wrong profession. Uh, the fisherman though is finished. Very good. And Savalt... He's a level 3 in food. He gains not that much experience points, but he's a good leveler on the food. So let's go ahead and give him the fisherman profession for now. As long as we do need that food, right? So he's going to fish and trade. That's his, his life, Savalt. Very good. And then he could do that right outside the gate. Let's just hope there's no monsters coming out. Kinrick will level up or will become an adult soon. That's great to see. Felin, she's also finished again with her sanity. And Ove is also back to full health. Perfect. So we got both of my soldiers back on the track. And I would like to use both of them right away to clear some of the board that we have over there. Because my people are getting attacked by them quite often. Oh, there's also that lookout tower. Let's have a look at that. Because I want to I want to see what's in the area. By the way, I just realized there is actually a cage. A prison. But it looks like there's someone dead. Yeah, it's dead. Dead inside. Okay, yeah, there's a bit of wild folk. They're getting stronger, it seems. There's not much I can do about them. Right? They were they used to be so weak and now. It seems like two of my will not be enough anymore. Hmm. Perhaps you can kill one of them, but even then, this is not a victory. Oh, a new challenge. Animal servitor, wild boar. Phelan seeks an animal servitor to guide her. Carve a sculpture that resembles a dangerous beast you've spotted to help Phelan find inspiration. Uh, the wild boar carving. That should be easy for this side quest. We got nine minutes. Come on, you can do this. It's just one now. We gain lots of sanity by killing someone. That's great. Alright, I think she will have to take some hits there now. Alright, down it is. That was actually really hard. Let's have a look at that lookout tower. Oh, and there's more spiders. Let's get out there. These spiders are no good. But they're going to attack now. So we'll have to help my foragers. Okay, the big one is down. And now it's just a small one. There it is. And there is a bit of loot here now, finally. Probably against spiders, right? Spider warrior leg. And 20% attack damage to spiders, yep. Yeah. Alright. And she's going to stay here for the moment. Um, we probably will need to have a torchlight out there something. There is, by the way, the wild boar carving. Do we need to build it in a special location? I don't think so. I, just, I think we just need to build it. And sole purpose is to raise Gord's sanity levels, right? I think... I think we could have it here by the bathhouse. So that they can... Let's turn it around a bit. So perhaps they recover their sanity while also healing their health. I think, yeah, we got someone new. A boy. It's speeding up there a bit. So there's more people coming out of the wombs right now. <laughs> and... We don't need any houses for that, but it's definitely increasing my food consumption. We are looking good on food at the moment right now. I think the fisherman is doing an amazing job. How is Ove looking? I think he is... Ah, uh, his health is still really low.
Yeah, he's still going to take a while. There it is. We have finished it. Failin gets 10% experience from now on. And I would like to see if this is raising now anything here. My health. Standing by the carvings, yes. So we can combine it, right? They're getting the, the boost from this one and the health boost now. So in here they can recover now sanity and health at the same time. That's great. Okay. You can also become a fisherman, I think. No, you're bad at that. You're good at trading. This is the next one that is actually useful or useless at anything. Right, Kinrick? He's grown up. All right. He's new. Let's give him the food profession for now. Th at least he does not have a penalty there. <laughs> like he's got a penalty at everything else. Except for a, a bit of trading. Holy cow, these people. All right. We're a colony. We've also grown up there. We're hopeful and we're faithful right now. So it's not looking so bad, right? Um, you can actually also go for... Oh, she's good at mining. Yep, let's get some clay again. This is where Vishemila is going to continue her work now. And that's it for the moment. We're still alive. The Blood Moon is upon us. We'll just see what happens there. And we continue onwards in the next episode of Gold. Stay tuned.